Welcome back to validated.js. This video deals with object sanitizers. They convert inputs to another type. So let's imagine that you have to validate some fields from a form. Let's declare a variable which represents a field. You can verify the content's existence by using the method toBoolean. It returns false if the value is zero, false or null, otherwise it returns true as you can see in the example. Toboolean also proposes us to use the option which allows us to restrict the validity of the field to one or true. Its value is false by default. Now imagine you have to get an integer from a field. Let's take an example of an age. Here you can use the method toInt which converts the input into an integer or NAN if the input isn't one. Adding a second argument allows you to define the numeral system of the input, which is 10 by default. Here we will choose the hexadecimal system. As you can see, the hexadecimal value 1, 9 is equal to 25 and decimal. You can also transform an input into a float. You can do that by using the method to float. Now you know how to convert these objects. Check out the exercises to see if you can convert a string to a date. See you in the next video.